Senator from Montana. Time. Following on the footsteps of the Senate, without debate or fanfare, the House of Representatives voted Thursday night to extend three provisions of the Patriot Act, which was hastily adopted into law six weeks after the 2001 terror attacks under former President George W. Bush. The Patriot Act greatly expands the U.S. government's ability to spy on Americans in the name of national security. It's an act that empowered the government to be able to invade the freedoms of individual citizens without their knowing it. That's what the Patriot Act means. The House passed a one-year reauthorization of the Patriot Act by a 315 to 97 vote, just a day after the Senate moved the bill on a late evening unanimous voice vote. You don't even hear the debate of, of, of the subject matter. Why? Because the Congress cowardly cowers in fear of being charged with, oh, they're soft on terrorism. In an interview with Politico, Senator Joe Lieberman, chairman of the Committee on Homeland Security, said about the votes, in the end it became non-controversial. There was growing concern about increase on pace of attacks on the homeland. And frankly, I think the Patriot Act got a bad name under the Bush administration. Many Democrats believe the attempted Christmas Day bombing and the attacks at Fort Hood affected public perception and that they had no choice but to vote to reauthorize the bill. Meanwhile, Republicans are shouting victory. The three provisions extended by Congress in the Patriot Act include quarter-proof roving wiretaps that permit surveillance on multiple phones, quarter-proof seizure of property and records in anti-terrorism operations, and a provision that permits surveillance against a so-called lone wolf, a non-U.S. citizen suspected of engaging in terrorism who may or may not be part of a recognized terrorist group. The strength of a democracy is the knowledge that people have about what the government is doing. With the Patriot Act, the people do not have the slightest inkling of what the government is doing to them, not necessarily for them. Democrats criticized the then Republican Congress and former President Bush for passing the Patriot Act. However, civil rights groups such as the American Civil Liberties Union argue the Patriot Act's provisions enable the abuses of power regardless of who is in the Oval Office. Just as quietly as Congress passed the bills renewing the provisions in the Patriot Act, President Obama signed them into law Saturday. For Press TV, Rhonda Pence at the White House.